celebrate communion and celebrate God's grace given to us. And we also designate um, a way for us to give back and share God's grace and love with others. Um, for the month of October, we have designated the Mississippi Coalition Against Domestic Violence as a way for us to reach outside these walls, um, share God's love, and aid those. Um, so as I said, for nine and a half years, Dr. Wendy Mahoney has been serving as Executive Director of the Mississippi Coalition Against Domestic Violence. And I reached out to see if she would come share a little bit about that work and how our gift um, would aid them in that work and in our community. So um, I'm going to let you go ahead. And if we need to switch mics, I'll be sitting right behind. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you um, for having me. I really appreciate uh, the privilege and the honor to come and talk to you this morning. Uh, as um, Reverend Flowers has said, I am the executive director of the Mississippi Coalition Against Domestic Violence. We are a statewide organization, and we have been in existence for 42 years. Uh, being the premier advocacy organization in the state of Mississippi, providing advocacy support uh, to victims and survivors of domestic violence. We have 12 shelter programs for 82 counties. And I'll say that again, there are only 12 shelter programs for 82 counties. And as we know, everyone does not go to a shelter program. And why I say program, it's more than just emergency housing. They provide other services and supports. And the coalition bridges the gap in the, the services and what individuals need. As you know, one in three women may be impacted by domestic violence in their lifetime, and one in seven men. And we know that domestic violence impacts can impact any and everyone. And if an individual is experiencing domestic violence, the family also, once they know about it, or friends or other people uh, are impacted by it as well. And so in our state, um, the coalition is, uh, was established to be that entity to bridge the gap and provide support and resources. Your funds assist us in, in, with individuals who are seeking legal services. That is if they need divorce, protection order, child custody assistance, child visitation. We have a legal services division of our organization. And to be honest, we started this program in 2017 and it is phenomenal the number of people who contact us from around the state needing help needing a protection order needing someone to go to court with them and we support and your dollars help us with that from 2017 to now we have served uh I think it's around 585 individuals and in some type of legal support or assistance or consultation. So it, your dollars greatly help. And another thing the coalition does is we're the advocacy arm. We were able to, in 2017, um, put in place in legislation, we advocated for um, spousal domestic abuse. Before, if you wanted to get a divorce as a result of domestic violence, you, it was, uh, the grounds was habitual, cruel, and inhuman treatment. And you had to prove that. You know how hard it is to prove behind closed doors and you had to have someone to corroborate your story. That was almost impossible. And so your funds and support has assisted us in making sure that that information gets out and attorneys and others know that now it's spousal domestic abuse. You don't have to corroborate your story. You don't have to have anybody to say, yeah, I saw this, but an individual can go to court on their own with our support and get a divorce or whatever is needed. Uh, so. We really, really appreciate um, you all taking this on. Anytime you need information, resources, or otherwise, please reach out to our organization. Um, there's so many more needs than just what I'm talking about. It goes on and on and on. The number of stories and even things you hear in, in the media, um, you only get a snippet. We get the full details and stories uh, of what is transpiring. And one thing I'll leave you with, domestic violence is more prevalent and widespread than most people want to realize or recognize. 
it, the impact is far reaching because it does not have a socioeconomic status. It has no educational attainment. Anyone can be impacted by domestic violence. No gender or anything. It does not have a face. It doesn't. So that's why it's more difficult and that's why the resources are more greatly needed. So again, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, on behalf of the victims and survivors in the state of Mississippi, thank you.